What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, DeMarco, a.k.a. Billy D. Williams, the guy with the polo shirt and the tie. Listen, I want to make a quick video so I can show you guys, because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, um, how, how do you make a new Gmail or how do you get a Google voice number? I'm going to cover both of those right here, right now in this video. So, how do we do this? First and foremost, you want to go to, uh, open up your web browser, right? You want to go to uh, gmail.com gmail.com and the reason that you want to make a new email when you get into business a lot of the time is because your email might be non-professional your email might be something like dragon slayer 72 or I'm a big pimp 1989 whatever the, whatever it is right you need something more professional so what I what's what I suggest to people is I suggest them their first and their last name and just put enterprises if your name is you know if your name is Bob Jones put Bob Jones enterprises at gmail.com very simple very effective okay so I'm gonna make a new one I have multiple emails right now I'm gonna make a new one just for the sake of this video for this tutorial so we're gonna go here and it says uh, right here you see at the bottom right right here it says create an account and that's what we're gonna click on click on create an account we click on that now we're going to need to fill in some information so we need to go to put a first name last name all of that good stuff so I'm going to put uh, my website is no job no worry dot com so I'm going to put no job I'm going to put no job as my first name no worry as my second name my username is going to be no job no worry at gmail dot com Someone already has a username. Oh, someone took my, someone took it. So I'm gonna put no job, no worry. Enterprises, enterprises at gmail.com. Create a password here. I'm gonna create a quick password here. All right. And um, date of birth. I'll use my birth date. I'm gonna use February 25th. Where the Pisces at? Woo woo. 1982. Okay. My gender. I am a male. Last time I checked. Phone number, I'm going to put my phone number in here, 54, and you want to actually put your actual, uh, okay, you actually want to put your actual phone number because what happens is Google's going to verify this account, okay, and plus, Google's number one, you know, thing in business is to collect information from you, so they want as much information as possible, and they want everything, all right, so my current email address, we're going to put DeMarco, which is my name, at no job no worry dot com that is my business email so if Google needs to contact me they'll hit me up there okay set Google as my home page not necessary to do prove you're not a robot um, I'm not a robot skip this verification blah, 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 phone verification maybe okay I'm gonna put a uh, 668 okay cuz that's the number here in the capture um, I am in the United States I have read the Google terms and service um, and privacy policy you might want to do that you don't need to do that it's basically standard stuff it's just standard legal stuff all email providers would ask you to do I hit next and let's go let's go let's go okay and this is how I'll appear you can change this you can add a photo if you want I'm just gonna leave it that way for now okay and then next step it should take me to my inbox right now let me see what goes on now should take me okay welcome no job yeah that's me um, your email blah blah no job no worry enterprise at gmail dot com continue to gmail all right and then here I, it's loading it's loading and now here we are it's gonna take me into my email right perfect we have our new email it's professional no job no worry enterprises at gmail dot com brand new so I can put that on my advertisements I can put that on my business cards I can put that on Craigslist I can put that on my flyers I can put that on brochures I can put that on whatever I can text that to people email that to people post it on my Facebook wall I can put that as my contact information on an e on an, on a website whatever so that sounds professional enough now we're going to need a Google voice number. Why? Because you want people to contact you as much as possible. So you can just put an email, right? That's cool. But you can put a, a phone number as well, and that makes it even better because then a phone number uh, it makes you it makes your advertisement synonymous with someone that's real. Um, you know, phone numbers are synonymous with people. 
So you put a phone number there, you're going to get a better response. Even if the person just emails you, just the fact that you had a phone number them, uh, there is going to make them want to contact you. So to get a phone number that people won't have, won't actually have your actual phone number. They're just going to have, you know, a number that uh, forwards to your phone. We're going to go back up to the top here. We're going to go and we're going to go back to Google. We're going to go to Google.com. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, is it Nelson Mandela's birthday or something? Great man. Great man he was. Okay. So we're going to go back to Google now. and We're going to type in Google Voice. Right? Google Voice. And then we're going to click, not the first one. Well, I don't know if you can click the first one, but I just click the second one. Click the second one here, right? Right here. Click that. It's going to say, getting started. Please note that Google Voice is only available in the U.S., blah, 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 blah. Okay. Click accept. If you have read the terms and privacy policy, I have. You may want to. You don't need to. It's just standard stuff that every email provider gives you. Hit proceed. It's creating my account and then you want to you want a new number okay because it makes no sense to have a Google voice account forward to your actual cell phone number not in my opinion at least so you want to hit I want a new number hit that right there and then you're gonna put in your phone number the same phone number I just put in a little while ago my actual cell phone number I'm gonna put that uh, this is a mobile phone continue now Google Voice is going to call me at my phone number so I hit call me now they're gonna call me it should be ringing here shortly waiting 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 here we go I have Mozart as my ringtone okay so we're answering it Here's a two-digit verification code here, so I'm going to put that in. Thank you. Your account is now active. My account is now your name active. Press one. Or you may hang up and do it later. Yeah, I'll do it later. Okay. So now, uh, anyone calls this number, it will ring to my cell phone. So, I'm going to it ask me to pick an area, zip code, or city. I live in Miami, Florida. I'm going to pick a 305 area code because that's what I want. And I'm going to hit search numbers. And I can pick one of many numbers they have here available. I'm going to pick the easiest one for me. So let me see what we got going on here. We got uh, 305 203 0196. Uh, 